Hey everybody, my third request video of the day. I was going to do a video on this in the near future, but I had a request for talking about the ARC. It was not the ARC that most people think about. It's a San Lurfa turkey down here today. I talked about this a long time ago in many videos. A lot of legends spring out of this area. The home of Abraham from the Bible, ancient Ur, ancient Urfa. I know some people think that that is in Iraq, but as I talked about in the video I made last fall, the whole Bible origin comes from this area here, ancient Haran, other places. Gobekli Tepe is right nearby. But San Lurfa, there was a story of the Ark of the Covenant being here at one time with a big question mark. What are they talking about? Well, let's investigate that mystery. This is ancient origins. They did a story here a while ago on the Ark. And it says, could the Ark described at Edessa be the biblical Ark of the Covenant? Yes, there was an Ark at Edessa, the one from the Exodus. Nope. Now, some of you remember a video I did quite a while ago, probably a year and a half ago. I talked about Sogmatar in Turkey and the mystery I solved there regarding the linen that was at Edessa. Let's just read here what this says says the year was 165 AD and the location was the Edessan necropolis at Sogmatar in what was then in northern Syria. This is the year King Weil of Edessa had an inscription carved upon the sacred hill of Sogmatar. This is Silberry Hill on the left, and the Sogmatar on the right. And I made the first video, I think on YouTube about that, about three and a half years ago, going over the strange history there and the connection to Haran and the Sabians, and then in a video I did about a year and a half ago, really made a major discovery in an in inscription here, led me to where Shroud Man was buried. Here it talks about the inscription of Sogmatar and in the pillars and Betel Umphalo stone. I know Ralph Ellis in the study of ancient Edessa, where he says the Jesus story originated, that he talks about the Betel Umphalo stone. It says the most famous Mastab was a pillar of Jacob that was anointed with oils when he was at Haran in northern Syria. Genesis 28, 18. And here is a look at one. And Palo Stone, I believe this is set up at the ancient site of Delphi. Here is a depiction of an Ampalo Stone. A coin here. This comes from Delphi. There was an ark reported in ancient Edessa. These stories kind of converge. Was this the Ark of the Covenant up here? No, but it was an Ark and it held in a sacred object. Now here are ancient Edessa coins. They depict a sacred stone atop the hill at Sogmatar, yet it's in kind of a crate or a case. That tells a big story for what was held at ancient Edessa here. It says two examples of Edessan Betel stones housed in a small temple. The king here is King Wilde, the same king who wrote the inscription. It says, sometimes I despair at the illogicality displayed by some academics because it's fairly obvious that these images portray a wooden box, a box that contained the sacred icon, a god. The cube is called a betel, but this does not refer to a stone. Instead, it is derived from Bethel Latib, meaning house of God. It says, thus the cube is not made of stone. It is an Ark of the Covenant that housed the sacred stone icons of God. That is not entirely correct. I love the work of Ralph Ellis. He didn't really come to the understanding that I did of the original miracle that was displayed at Edessa, Turkey. It was called the image of Edessa, now called something entirely different, the Shroud of Turin. Here's a video I did on the Ark about four years ago when restoration work was done on a church in France here. A mosaic was uncovered in the ceiling. What is this? This is a Byzantine representation of the Ark that was in Edessa. What was in here? The image of Edessa, called something else today. Now, whatever your beliefs are and what happened 2,000 years ago, well, those are your beliefs. That's why they call it faith. This is just my interpretation of the origin of where this whole story came from. This is called Joseph the Grail and the Shroud. And I've talked about how Joseph Arimathea is directly connected to the Holy Grail. 
and he buys the linen in the New Testament story. This article talks about Joseph of Arimathea, the Holy Grail, and the Edessa icon. And it says, those of you who are not familiar with the third item might find the title of an earlier presentation of the same material more eye-opening. Joseph of Arimathea, the Holy Grail, and the Turin Shroud. And I really uh, agree with what this guy writes, though not 100%. It says, on the other hand, Scavone's literary research undermines the popular understanding of the Grail as the chalice of the Last Supper, as well as the association of Joseph and the Grail with Britain. On the other hand, he gives as much as he takes when he ties Joseph to Christ's burial shroud, the shroud to Edessa and its icon, and ultimately the Grail to the shroud. Concludes that the Grail as a chalice is a garbled medieval Western interpretation mysterious Byzantine depictions of Jesus' burial cloth, and I have gone over how the Knights Templar had this image on the linen. They had the shroud. Would they give up the real secret of the Holy Grail? No. They would put out this story that it's a cup or a vessel or a chalice to throw people off. Here it talks about King Abgar getting the linen with the image on it. Originally, it says, oh, just a face of a guy on here. Well, that story is proven to be kind of an early myth. Later on down the line, it's revealed it's the whole bodily image of a tortured and crucified man. The Abgar kingdom, their necropolis is down at Sogmatar, where I solved the mystery of where this guy ended up. Talks about the image on the linen be moved to Constantinople in 944. There it's housed at the famous Hagia Sophia. Here is a king, Alagabalus, with the sacred stone in the back of a chariot, the house of God. Where is he from? Well, he's from Amessa. He was a sun god of Baalbek, right where I said Shroud Man preached as a priest king of Amessa. Down here at Baalbek, this is where the priest kings of Amessa were honored as sun gods. This is where the story of Shroud Man originates. This is why Baalbek is not mentioned in the New Testament. The Romans rewrote a story here. Here's a video I made about three years ago. Here's a church I found in the hills above Edessa, Turkey. They were honoring a sacred relic here. That's why Peter is called Peter in the Bible. It actually stands for Petra, which is stone in Aramaic. Yes, there was an ark at Edessa. It did not hold stones. It, hold, it held the house of God known to the people at the time as the miracle of the image on the linen, known today as the Shroud of Turin. The sacred relic was honored in Edessa. The guy came from a Mesa in Syria, near Baalbek. Right down here, a long time ago, there was a sacred relic called the image of Edessa. Today we have a story of a relic people kind of scoff at. Well, that's where it originates, right there. That is his story. It was held in the ark here, displayed during special ceremonies 1,900 years ago, roughly. I thought that was cool, and you all have a very safe day.